Today you're going to finish your Skittles sheet data for class data. So you're still using all of your student data and you need to get at least 15 students. And I know student 11 is missing. And so like here I even put there's no student 11. So I just am going to delete out that row or you can make up some data for student 11. So I'm just going to you choose either one. So you could have student 10, then skip and go to student 12. Um, as an error on my part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give student uh, 11 some data. So I'm going to just give them some Skittles here. Let's do that. So we got some Skittles for them and making it reasonable with some of the others just to give some data to them. <clears throat> what you need to do now, if you didn't get your Skittles data, you're getting all your data from this Skittles sheet. And so from your Skittles data, Skittles class data. So what you're going to do now is we are going to have to set up and get our totals. So we've got all of our students. So we go all the way over past student 15. And in our last column, we're going to write the word totals. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better. And let me zoom in over here. Okay, so when you, when you write the word totals in here, totals we're going to get the totals for each column so this is this is my red column so i'm going to get all of my totals for my red column now one thing that i can do is if i click on this column i can go to my view and this is an option to do i can freeze and i can freeze column one right and what column one does so what that does for me is now when i go over if i want to look at my totals it as my data goes i still have my labels right here so i have my labels and so i'm going to come to my totals you start by putting the equal sign in and then it recommends or it should recommend a formula for it, which makes it super easy and that's exactly the formula i want and this is going to take the, it's going to add up from cell b2 to p2 so i'm in my this is my p column here's my p column Here's two, and it's go all the way over to B. And if I want to look at it to make sure it's got everything, if I look at this, see, it's got all of, it's got the orange box around all of my cells. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit the Enter key, and it's going to put the sum in there of how many red ones. Now, if you, it should also suggest, hey, the rest of this, it looks like you're, you did totals for different things all the way down. So this is suggested autofill for us. So yeah, we want to do that. So that's going to do the same thing going down. So I'm going to hit the check mark because yes, I want to do this. Now, another way that you can do this if you didn't get the check mark or didn't get it for you. So now I've got my totals as I go down. And what's neat with using the formula is say student 14, maybe I got it wrong and student 14 had nine. So look right here, it's 111 is their total. But student 14 actually had nine of that color. I can change it to a nine and you see how it how the, the number went up for it. So this has got all of your totals. Now what you're gonna do is we've got our totals by the, the total number of Skittles. And so what I could do is I might even put this to make it a little bit more totals by color, right? So I know what, what it is I'm doing. So that's my total Skittles by color. So then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna come back all the way over and go to where I have my colors here and I'm gonna do here total by student. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I hit the equal sign and I'm gonna do, now it gives me two options because it doesn't know what I wanna do. Is that, do I want the average? Cause I'm taking, do I wanna find the average of them, the average number between them? Or I still wanna get the sum because I wanna see if Skittles is putting the same number of Skittles in each bag, or maybe some bags have more Skittles, some bags have less Skittles. You know, maybe there's kids out there that aren't getting the right number of Skittles. And so I'm gonna do this sum and it, and if I do the run, hover over the suggested again, it puts the orange bar around it. I click on it and it's going to have some, which is going to add them up. The first is what cell do you start with? So I'm going to start at cell B2 and I'm going to end at cell B6. So yeah, that's what I want to do. It shows you your formula. You hit the enter key and there it is. Now, this one didn't recommend going across. So what we can do here is if I click on this cell, 
if I want to copy the same formula over and over rather than having to keep doing it, there's this little blue square down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that, select that blue square, and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button or left on the trackpad, and I'm going to drag it across, and it's going to fill in. See, it's going to drag that formula across for me. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way across. Now, I don't want to do totals because I don't want to get a total a total of the totals because that wouldn't make any sense. But what I can look at here is see, okay, I got 47, 42, 40 Skittles. So the kid that got 40 Skittles and the kid that got 50 Skittles, it really is, you know, I'm, I got 10 less Skittles than my buddy, right? That's kind of crummy. So we can see what we've got here. And then what I want you guys to do, the last thing is make this data, you know, look nice. So like all these numbers look the same. So what I would maybe do is these totals, you know, make them stand out by making it a different color or make it something else, making it bold, you know, so that we've got it. I can increase the font size of it a little bit. So I've got my totals, change that and make this you know, make this bold so that I can see that this is the total for my students. Um, same thing over here, add some colors to it. You make your, just make your spreadsheet look really cool. And then what we're gonna do is attach this spreadsheet to your Google Classroom assignment and you're gonna turn that in for today. So that's gonna be what you get. So you're gonna make sure you've got your name on it. It's got your name, it's got everything, and then you're not gonna share this with me. You're gonna actually go into your Google Classroom assignment. You're gonna hit the plus button to add the file, add, the, add this file to it, the Google Sheet to it, and then turn it in after you've attached this file from your Google Drive. Have a great day. If you need anything, feel free to reach out.